Okay, I'm going to be showing you two, two simple things you can do right now to improve your gameplay in Counter-Strike Go. Um, these two things can, can change your gameplay over like move it, move it. from one minute to the next. So that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to shoot the M4, first of all. Now, this is, I'm not going to go into all the details of all kinds of, you know, everything you can do with it. But just one thing you can do to change it. Like, if you shoot at this wall, maybe 10 shots or so, you see how it goes up like that, right? So, now, what I see most people do, like, when they start playing this game, is, let's say they see someone here, right? Instead of aiming for the head and shooting him at the head, they, they, they go like this, because they know they're about to spray, so they start to aim, hoping that that's going to kill them. But you should always just aim for the head. Uh, pretend that's the head there. Aim for the head, see? And then pull, pull down to, uh, to counter effect the the recoil so for example the gun goes up like that so aim at the same place and pull it down and try to get the bullets to go as close as you can to the center by pulling down now you get up you pick up the rhythm eventually uh and you, you know how quickly you pull down and how slow or whatever and that alone will give you more kills so if you come around the corner and you do a control spray starting with the head you might shoot them in the head and uh if you don't or if it doesn't kill them for any reason you're gonna hit them at least three or four times so they're gonna die no matter what so it, it comes down to um you know about who does that better now this tu this tutorial is more for beginners obviously when you get to more advanced play um i mean someone uh you know these people these pros can shoot an entire clip like that, the entire clip and they can shoot it into a little area like this because if you go further than 10 shots, you also get you have to pull it to the right. So after 10 shots, you start to pull to the right a little bit with the M4. Um, so that's one thing. So now for the AK-47, it's a very uh, similar thing. Let's go, let's uh, let me go. Let show you here real quick. Now the AK-47 spray is a lot worse than the M4. So as you can see, it just goes everywhere. So the first 10, let's take the same example. So you just got to pull down. A little bit. See, I didn't do it good there. There you go. See, you get a better, more control. So it's the same thing. It takes practice with both guns. I'd recommend doing some deathmatch with both until you get the hang of that. And right away, your gameplay will be better. Um, and, and I mean, I am talking about if you're if you're in Silver or Nova 1, 2, 3, 4. This kind of level. Because when you get into higher play, you're probably not going to get to higher level play if you don't know these basics. So I am talking to the noobs. If you're pro or if you're eagle or and stuff and obviously I, I can get better myself I'm, I mean I'm not perfect here either, but this is for beginners and it will improve your, improve your game right away now the other thing this is almost more important and that's basic crosshair placement when you're uh, running or taking sights or whatever you're doing so let's say let's say you're coming in here and you're gonna go into this room and there could be someone in there now what I did and what a lot of noobs do is they'll come running around the corner and they'll come they'll come with the crosshair on the wall Thinking that they can get a pre-fire maybe and go like this. No, they'll come on and go like this. Right? Now, you'd think that you'd have the advantage. The problem is, if I come around this corner like this, and there's a guy standing right here, I'm going to have to depend on a, on a flick shot to get him. And he has the advantage because he's already sitting here looking like this. Right at my head. So there's no way, if he's just as good as me or better, that I'm going to win that. So, the crosshair placement, basically, you would snap... If you're coming into here, you know this is all clear, of course. You would snap your crosshair at head level to the wall. And as you approach the wall, keep it, keep the crosshair on the corner. So as you can see right now, as soon as I come around this corner, I'm already looking at that guy. As with this method, I'm not, my crosshair is not on his head. So as soon as I come around the corner, I, I can already fire. And then once that's cleared, I follow the crosshair around the corner to there. So now that takes practice as well. See? And then you snap it back. So basically you're following a corner around and then you snap it back. And always follow the wide angle like this so you get the full scope first. You don't want to go for the corner and then miss out on all this area first. Uh, so let's say here. I'm going to come around this corner here. Now I know that there could be someone there. I know that there could be someone up there opping. I know that there could be someone in the cat. I'm not going to come in here 
trying to free fire cat when I'm missing out on all this space, all these variables here. It could be someone standing anywhere over there. So by the time you go to pre fire this guy, three people could be shooting at you. You gotta clear that space. So by clearing it, you follow the corner. And when you're following the corner, you can you can just be ready to shoot whoever's there first. The guy over there can't shoot you. Okay, so this is basically how I would take this corner. I would come around here and try to keep it at head level. Now there is a, a an incline here, so maybe you have to just know that you should not you can't keep it at head level going like this. You gotta, you know. You gotta know the map a little bit, so you gotta know the, the head placement. But see, as you, as you come back around here, you gotta bring it back up. So if this is clear, that's clear, and you don't see nothing there, you come back up here and you're ready. Now this corner, same thing. So there could be someone here, and there could be someone there, and then finally someone here. So to take this corner, you don't wanna come around like this. You wanna follow, snap the crosshair to the corner, and if there's someone there, you get you can probably get a headshot on them. And then you clear that area, and then you come here, and then you snap back to here. Because once that's clear, you want to be back here, because that's where the possibility of an enemy coming by here. Not here. So once that's clear, obviously you want your crosshair back here. So you come here, clear that, clear that, snap back. And now the same thing here. Follow this corner. Get that guy here, and then come back around and obviously clear these areas. So once you've cleared, let's say here, you come up here, clear the box. Anyways, you get the idea. That also takes practice following corners. Uh, you know, once you start getting the hang of it, you start learning how to clear areas without running in or strafing uh, like this and getting shot in the head first. So those are just two simple things to improve your gameplay right away. Thanks for watching.